Okay, hi folks, Stephen Nicholas here. Thanks for joining me today for this first video in the instructional series related to the workbook program, 10 Minutes a Day to Personal Transformation. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that program uh, towards the end of this little talk. In the meantime, I kind of want to set a framework for you about this whole idea of personal development, personal evolution, self-help, you know, and all of those kinds of interesting and, and helpful uh, questions. Most of us are interested in something beyond just making more money. And most of us, as we continue to grow up, leave our families, start our own families, our careers, begin to discover that, uh, that we have a certain number of patterns and, and habits that don't really support our deeper longings in, in our life and career path. So we engage in a variety of different activities and programs and relationships in the world to kind of help mediate that and, and deepen our, our sense of the direction we're going and the outcomes we're really wanting to create in our life. We, we have two, two minds, if you will. Actually, if you ask a, a neurologist or a medical person, we, they might talk about a lot more than that. But for our purposes here, we're, we're talking about our cognitive mind. That's the part of our intelligence system that loves patterns, that understands language, that likes things in logical kinds of steps. And it's, it's the part of our mind that we spend a whole lot of our time in because it's so important for us to navigate the world. And then we have what some people might call our unconscious mind. I prefer to call it our intuitive mind. And that's the part of our intelligence system that actually lives in the world. That's the part that our five senses go through. And it's the part, if you've heard about you know, mindfulness practices and different kinds of activities like that, that we're really beginning to focus a little bit more and spend a little bit more time in that part of our intelligence system. It does not have language. That part of our mind does not use language. We're switching back and forth, you know, multiple times a second as a rule. And yet for, for the conversation here, I'm going to kind of slow that down and, and separate those out. Our, our intuitive mind is also where dreams come from. Our intuitive mind is where uh, symptoms come from when we start feeling uh, overly scared, uh, anxiety, where we are feeling confused, where, where we aren't able to have the kind of patience we'd like in, in our relationships in the world. We're, we're a little angry, perhaps. Sometimes, you know, and in its extreme forms, we, we see different kinds of addictions. We, we uh, find that we, or other people that we know, have these different diagnoses, and they're going to doctors and psychiatrists and psychotherapists, and, and they're attempting all of these various workarounds that sometimes are helpful and sometimes aren't. So I'm not so much talking about those extreme those more uh, debilitating experiences that one might go to a psychiatrist for or to a psychotherapist for, but more the garden variety kinds of experiences that we're really wanting to work with so that we can enhance our various internal set of relationships and external set of relationships with our spouse, our family, our parents, our neighbors, co-workers, etc. And that's where we begin to notice that we might need a little help sometimes. Sometimes it's really good to, maybe all the times, it's really good to start with our go-to part of our mind, which is how do we think our way through this? And then there's times when we've attempted to think our way through particular kinds of stuck places, certain patterns, and we haven't succeeded. Then it's time to begin to explore other ways other methods to work through and come to a place where we've resolved, integrated, healed, uh, moved positively beyond some of these 
difficult patterns. So as we leave our families and we begin to go in and create our, our own families, our own set of adult mature relationships, our, move on a career path, we then tend to begin to run into some of these patterns that we learned uh, in our family of origins. Now some of those patterns are really helpful and very useful in our lives and others aren't. And it's the ones that we want both to create more of, if I'm a kind person, if I'm a patient person, if I'm a good communicator just as a result of my personality and my upbringing. You know, it's useful to be able to hold the question with curiosity, how do I create more of this strength, this set of resources? And yet the other side of that coin is also true. When I start to get stuck, when I lose uh, my patience and I'd like to have more of it so that I'm not grouching at people or finding myself being angry or uh, mean perhaps in, in relationships that don't really require that. So, so we've got those two sides, these parts of our personality that we want to celebrate and bring more into the world and spread them out in different parts of uh, our life strategies, if you will. And then we have these places where we get stuck and we'd really like to kind of transform those into their positive sense and their positive side. So this program that I've created that I call 10 minutes a day to personal transformation and the 30 day challenge uh, is obviously the website where you're watching this video and the workbook which uh, looks like this and I'm looking forward to helping people create these new ways to work with those questions. In particular it's non-linguistic so while in a sense this is very much about journaling it's not journaling in a narrative format with, with words. It's journaling with drawings. And it's a particular set of sequences. There's a five sequence process. And in that process, we're going to work with these experiences in our life that we want to celebrate and, and create more of. And also, we're going to work with those parts of our personality where we tend to get stuck when certain kinds of situations that we find ourselves in don't work particularly well to our deeper interests and directions in our life. So those are the ones that we want to transform. So celebrations, transformations, working with non-linguistic journaling in this five sequence relational drawing process the booklet and the website work hand in hand. This is video, instructional video one, just an introduction to the idea of personal development and personal transformation and a little bit about the program. The program itself is available. You can purchase it on the website. Uh, I'll send, a, send you the, the workbook and then you'll have access to the other videos on the companion website. You will find that this is, is a simple and intuitive program. It is immediately helpful every time you complete a five sequence drawing. Typically that 10 minutes a day is about what it takes, the 10 minutes to go and complete a five panel drawing. And you'll notice that immediately things have, have shifted in your body and interesting enough, enough, even though it's a rather subtle sometimes, you'll notice things changing in, in internal relationships and external relationships. And then the idea of the 30-day challenge is really simple. If you, if you do one of these for 30 days in a row, or say maybe it takes you 35 days or something, you're going to notice that so much is significantly shifted in your experience and in your relationships you will want to continue to work with this process on an ongoing basis. So that's what I hope you will uh, check back in and learn more about this. 
and work with me and enjoy the powerful and simple changes that will help you transform your life. Pretty simple. Thanks for tuning in.